It was a wet and rainy day for this year's Shelby Township Jingle Bell Run. This is the 14th year for the Jingle Bell Run, with over 500 participants filing into the Burgess Shadbush Nature Center, and then later down the hill and into Riverbends Park for the race. Uh, exceptionally good day. We, I was able to get nice warmer weather, but I couldn't get rid of the rain. But this is our 14th annual. We've had some interesting years in there with weather, but it's worked out good. We had 500 roughly turn out again this year, which is a really great number. It's one of our highest numbers. Uh, and, and then as a result of that, the money that's raised, it's usually around 15,000. It will be this year. I distribute to the six, eight, nine different charities in the area to give it back to the community. But everybody has a good party, party time in the meantime. The overall male winner was Andrew Lancam from Washington. And the overall female winner was Charlotte Long from Utica. The male and female masters winners were David Lancam and Rachel Selvage. And the grandmaster winners were Lori Scoburn and John Tarantino. Well, what I do is what a lot of the races do. You have the overall male and female, and we have master male, female, which is normally 40 and above, but we do 40 to 59. And the category I created that's become a new trend, senior, our, our grand uh, master that's anybody 60 and over. So, so there's three groups that get our first place tr special trophy and they get a $25 gift card. And then uh, we do the top three in each age group, 10 year increment. Uh, I don't give everybody one because there's gotta be a little incentive to earn it. And I always announce them all because parents have come up to me in the past and said, I love it when you mention the top three in each age group. And I heard my son or daughter's name mentioned. So it makes it good for them. And even man's best friend got a medal for this year's Jingle Bell run. Something I started a few years ago, once again, a little incentive for people to come out for the race. Any dog that finishes got a medal. Let, you know, I had leftover medals. Well, then last two years ago, I had special paw medals made up, and I have one on right here. It's really cool. And any, anybody with a dog gets a medal. So I had two runners last year that each had two dogs, so they got two medals. And last year, he had 25. I haven't heard the count yet, so this year. But 25 last year that brought the dogs. Pretty cool. And the most important thing that the Jingle Bell Run provides is much needed funds for local charities. Well, you know, Parks and Rec always support us in an unbelievable way. AEW Engineering, they, they sponsor, they bring get runners to come out, but they also manage my whole parking, which is one monster problem. They do an awesome job with that. And then just a lot of the charities, McDonald's, McDonald's donates um, cookies and I get other donations from other groups and organizations. And there's a lot of sponsors for me to go through them and all, but they all came through. And I was able to raise quite a bit of money on the sponsorship side, which is really, really good. Finally, the 2023 Shelby Township Jingle Bell Run was a resounding success, and there are many people to thank. Thank everybody who was involved, CRM, Joe Youngblood and his staff. I want to thank the police and choir and them. The Parks and Rec people here at the Nature Center, they do a phenomenal job. There were so many kids like from Eisenhower that came out and helped, and parents and friends and all. I could go on and really, that really makes the event happen, having all those extra people. I can't do it myself. Sometimes I wonder, but, but you know, you want to make it a, a great event. You get the sponsors and all. You know, Hansi running. Like we had checked in yesterday at their store, and you got 20% off on your purchases. They're incenting us as well to do the run. And Kevin was here again, supporting our race today. And it's those kinds of things, you know, uh, all the big people. My family, my wife in particular, she coordinates the food and the prizes. That's a headache. Because we do, we have like 20 raffle prizes that we're donating. Pretty cool stuff. The Red Wing tickets to hotels, to restaurants, to Metro Park passes. It's another reason to come out to the race. It's a lot of fun. Living in Shelby Township, I'm Andrew Shelsky.